So the VIN number, it's always going to be on the sticker here on the side of the vehicle, usually by the um, driver's door, but it's also on the lower left corner of the windshield. But the VIN number, it's also stored in the engine control unit. So I'm going to show you how to retrieve it and display that and make sure that it matches what's in here. So right here we have an OBD2 scanner, the Ucanic UCAN-1. And what you want to do is you want to plug this into the OBD2 port. Now all cars, you know, 1996 and newer have an OBD2 port underneath the dashboard. Um, so what you need to do is you plug in the scanner, the Ucanic UCAN-1. Uh, you, you plug this under the OBD2 port, your old cars 1996 and newer have an OBD2 port. So once you plug that in there, um, then turn on the ignition, it'll go to diagnostics and press enter. Uh, select no here, press enter again. Uh, this uh, screen is just going to show how many, if there is any codes and if vehicle is ready to pass emission. Uh, just press enter there, or just wait a couple of seconds and it'll go away. Then here in this next screen, scroll down, all the way down to vehicle info, press enter. It says uh, turn key on and engine off. And then you can see the VIN number, and that's the VIN number of this vehicle. And that, um, you know, is gonna be on the, uh, on the side. That should match what's on the door, what's on the lower left corner of the windshield. Um, so if you, if you think, you know, that ECU was replaced or swapped, and it wasn't coded properly or you know if you suspect something like that then this is a really easy and quick way to check the VIN number stored in the ECU and that's all thank you for watching